I believe art is a conversational starter. It's something that helps you see the artist and see how he sees the world. I wake up in the morning, I feel a certain type of way. I feel like a conqueror today. I feel like a god. I feel like a king. I feel like a warrior. And what do I do? I paint it on my face. Everything is my canvas. Everything is my canvas. Painted on wood, painted on guitars, painted on walls, painted did murals. You know, it's just moving my art from regular media canvas and doing stuff on jackets or leather and everything. I was like, huh, let me try, you know, the, the, the human body is like, I moved like art on the human skin. It kind of just was fascinating to see what the, the dark skin came up. Like, it's the melanin in your skin is just, it's, it's like fire. It's, it's not the white that is painted. It's the skin actually becomes the paint. It's just beautiful. When I use the word sacred, it's like, if I was going to paint on your face, we need to talk, revive, you see certain things, I learn a little bit about you, and I just kind of look at you and I'm like, okay, what type of Yoruba god or goddess does she remind me of? And I take some of these elements and put them on your, on, on your skin. So pretty much I'm, I'm turning you into something. You know, I'm bringing out something out of you that you didn't even know was there. So it's more like an interpretation of what I perceive about you. My dad was a lawyer and like since we were like four, five, six, he already picked out a career path for my brother and I. Like, oh, you're going to be a lawyer. My brother's going to be an engineer. And that was just like a done deal. I ended up um, studying law. I, I fell in love with it, but then I see how this huge passion, like art was my thing. I used every opportunity to draw. Anytime we had like a, a particular uh, matter, we had to remember, you know, I would like form stories, you know, out of my own, just draw the plaintiff and the defendant and draw a courtroom and draw the wig and draw stuff like that. Deep down, you knew that this might not be the rest of my life, you know, I might eventually do something else. I was just like, so why am I wasting my time? never knew I would get a call from Beyonce, but I did. Somehow, somewhere in the universe, she found my stuff. And things like that just make me want to encourage other people and tell them that you just never know who's watching you. Just Once it keep, makes you happy, keeps you away from all bad stuff. Because for me, I've never felt more alive in my life doing this, doing art full time. It's just, it's me. <laughs> Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.